All right, guys, here's our sampling location. The bridge is just right there that I took the uh, Secchi depth from. And uh, down here, it's really peaceful, you know? It's kind of creepy getting down here, but once you're down here, it's, it's rather nice. Uh, maybe one day we can get some kayaks or canoes and float down this way. Anyway, I'm gonna fill up these bottles. I'll show you how to take a dissolved oxygen measurement. All right, hey guys, I had to come back to the house because I was losing the light at the creek, but I wanted to show you how to do the dissolved oxygen test because there's a little bit more skill involved with it. So we test for dissolved oxygen to see how much oxygen is inside the water. It acts kind of like, um, like a Coke where it has the uh, carbonation inside of it, except the oxygen bubbles are a lot smaller and that's what the fish actually take in through their gills. So by seeing how much dissolved oxygen is in the water, we see how much oxygen is available for fish. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So you'll have your water sample that you're gonna be collecting from, your vial, and this test actually uses two tabs. Um, in the official directions, it says to add the second. I like adding them first. So first thing you do is uncap your vial, and then pop these two out. They're kind of fragile, so they may break up a little bit, that's okay. Just get all the little pieces into the vial. Get that second one in there as well. This one stayed solid. Okay, now the trick for this is going to be that you have to create what's called a meniscus. That's the little bubble on top. Y'all may have seen the that TikTok challenge or on Instagram where the guys are pouring the water into the cup and so you can make it spill over the least. So you're gonna take your water sample and very gently, you're probably gonna spill it, I am, okay? And do y'all see that little bubble right there? That's really important. Now, not all that is going to fit. You can already see it's starting to fizz up a little bit. But what you're wanting to do is that eliminates all the air from in there. And there'll be a little drip of water come down. And then you check. If you've done it right, there won't be any bubble except for the effervescence coming off of the vial. Okay? So now what you gotta do is dissolve these tablets. So what you're gonna do, finger on the cap, finger on the bottom, and shake it. And this is gonna take like five minutes, so I'll see you here in a bit. One eternity later. All right, I think we're done shaking. It's been five minutes by my watch, so I'm gonna check it now. So what you're checking for is that all of the tablet is dissolved, okay? There might be some floaty bits from the creek. That's fine, but you're looking for that white tablet, so kind of hold it up. All right, now we have this. You can already see there's a bit of a color change happening. So, but we want to wait four minutes. So set a timer on your Chromebook, watch the clock, four minutes, and then we're gonna check the color against the color card, okay? All right, everyone. The last thing you're gonna do is use what's called colorimetry. It's using a color to determine how much of a chemical is in the water. So you take the little card, that's provided to you, and you're gonna figure out, based off of this color, how much dissolved oxygen is in the water, okay? So, if we take our sample, we can see, eh, there we go, that it's not quite where the four parts per million is, but it's also not clear. There we go, better light. It's also not clear. So we can call this anywhere from two parts per million, maybe three parts per million, but I wouldn't say four, and it's definitely not zero. There is some color to it. Now, if your sample stays completely clear, zero parts per million, but if there's at least a little bit of color, I would call it at least two to three parts per million. If your sample turns bright orange, uh, that means that you've got uh, eight parts per million uh, Dissolved oxygen. 
So uh, once you've recorded that information, please be sure to put it into your data sheet, put that information up on the board for the rest of the class, and then this water's not great. Go wash your hands. All right, have fun. See y'all later.